I'm staying vegan because of all the animals I will die if I haven't changed my so-called food choice, what includes the lives of innocent living beings who are not willing participants in the most biggest holocaust ever on this whole planet. And yes, holocaust means in old Greeks the sacrifice of a male animal on the altar of God. So ironic that it can be used to suggest the execution of some bunch of, of our species. Or only around something like 12 million Jews, mental retarded people and gypsies. 12 million are executed in 5 years with the Jewish holocaust. It goes that way. Any year, 70 billion land animals are executed and 2.8 trillion marine animals so how is the victim here i'm still vegan because 82 to 84 percent of all the animals raised for food live in countries where children die from starvation i am still vegan because I am not a selfish threat. I am not a selfish piece of crap. I was once, maybe some of that kind of shameful being, but no longer. I'm still vegan because animal agriculture is the biggest cost of global warming. It is exactly 51% of all the greenhouse gas emissions. That is uh, 42.6 billion megaton of carbon dioxide into the air. Only because people want to eat a dismembered dead corpse or they think they won't. If you ask me honestly, you only like the way it is prepared. You like the salt, you like the pepper, you like the spices you like the cooking techniques but you don't like the corpse itself so like stop lying to you i'm still vegan because i don't lie to myself i don't lie to anybody i am hard i am in your face and you can like me or you can shut up i don't care i only care that you listen to my message you don't have to like me you only have to hear me I'm still vegan because it is the morally right thing to do. Veganism is not a diet. It is a moral imperative. It is for the innocent animals who are not willing participants in... So I've explained before, the most biggest holocaust ever existed. Veganism is the least you can do for the innocent animals. And speaking up against systematic oppression. I'm still vegan because I am not a drone. I don't believe morality is based on some delusional social contract. Morality is based on the everyday phenomenon of compassion without any alternative motive. The compassionate person feel no difference from the suffering person or, or animal in place. He connects himself with the victim. He places himself in the position of the victim. And therefore, for a moment, the compassionate person is the victim. And therefore, understand the position of the victim. In other words, all actions that come from other motives like egocentrism, like malice, are fake kinds of moralities. I'm still vegan, because if I'm not, then I am ashamed for myself. Because there is no excuse against veganism. I'm still vegan because Animal, animal products 
or animal body parts, secretions, uh, chicken periods. Mammal secretions are not food for us. There are body parts of innocent animals who don't want to be our victims. How don't want to be our milk machines. How don't want to be turned into commodities. I'm still vegan because I'm not a dickhead. I'm not somebody with an extreme, massive douchebaggery level. I don't believe my life or the life of my species is more important than anything else on this planet. Because I'm sane. In contrary to majority. I was never sane. From the beginning point. Ultra past the three stages. First, it is mapped and ridiculed. Second, it is finally opposed. And then last, it is accepted as self -reverent. And there's no excuse against it anymore. People understand that. With slavery, with woman rights, with uh, rights for gays, and uh, with uh, other, all other cases, it have to pass to this stages. Asking vegans to respect your position to eat animals is asking feminists to respect the position of a rapist and an anti-child abuse activist asking respect for the position of a pedophile. You don't take the position of the oppressor. You take the position of, of the oppressed head. If you are not a victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not a victim, it becomes pretty easily to mock your victims, make fun of their entire existence, label them stupid and dirty. Like Hammond, the s governor of the South, in his letters on defense of slavery. Like Hitler and Saddam Hussein, Gaddafi. All have done to the Pacific victims. But when you are the victim, we speak up for the victims. Now, things look a little different from that angle. When darkness and light become one, the reality is split in a way, and the truth becomes visible. Go vegan and stop making excuses. How can you ask for something you are not willing to give yourself? Mercy. Mercy is not for those who have no mercy for innocent beings out of nothing. Intention harmed them in their whole life. Animals are not lesser than our kind of species of animals. We must learn to be earthlings and we have to stop abusing the most vulnerable, the most innocent. And we have to stop protecting the cruel bastards. We have to become sane and we have to stop anthropocentrism, speciesism. Like we have to stop white supremacism and racism and black supremacism. Because in every plants you have that. And we can easily do this by extending our circle of compassion to all living beings. That's the only way we can do it. If we can, if, if you learn a child growing up that a pig is just as important as one hominid, our species, by the way, that's how I call you. Check out my video about humans and hominids. Furthermore, if I'll if you learn that all living beings are different, but no matter that they are different, it does not mean that they are lesser. How can that child grow up and look to other members of their own species and think that they are better? If they have learned from the beginning point that all living beings are equal, they are different but equal, that's impossible. So as always, peace begins on the dinner table.
but what you eat on a daily basis. I'm still vegan because I don't want to be living in a world where people have extremely high levels of douchebaggery. And I want to create this world. And the only way to do that is fighting against the cruel, psychopathic meat dairy and egg industry. How I have no morals, how I act out of selfishness and malice, pure, cruel, psychotic behavior. And if you ask me, the only way to end cruelty is not by turning another chin, it is by confronting them.